Hey, it's Doug Shelley, Sweet One, and for the screencast, we're going to talk about managing approvals. So let's say uh, a staff member submits a agenda item, and it comes to you as the uh, department head. But in the email that you receive uh, notifying you, there's a link that will take you back into the system, as well as information that will uh, give you an overview of that particular item. But if you click, click that link, it takes you back in the system, and you log in, it'll actually take you to the home page, but it'll take you to the My approvals tab. This is where all your approvals will be waiting for you. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five. Five different approvals in here waiting for me at this given time. Again, these are your unique approvals waiting for you. Now if you know what it is, you know it's pretty easy, you know, you know, something simple, you can actually hit the actions button here and it'll pop open and actually allow you to go ahead and uh, make a decision on it. Your options are one to approve it, then it would go to the next person to approval, or if you're the last person, it'll be marked that I got final approval. To deny it, ultimately just go ahead and uh, denies this particular item, and uh, the originator gets notified automatically. Or you don't have to deny it, you can actually return it to the creator, and that will actually automatically reset approvals so they have to reinitiate it when they make the changes that you want in the system. Now, the fourth option is return to approver. Let's say you're the third person to uh, review this. You want to re uh, send it back to the person uh, preceding you. That's where you can actually send it back to somebody that was a part of the approval process. So those are really your four options. The send notification is completely optional. You see there. What that is basically is you if you want to CC uh, or send an email to a staff member or CC anybody actually. You actually send a quick message right here and be able to type that in what the system would do is add this message as a comment to this particular agenda item and also send email notifications to the appropriate staff members. Now that's how you go in there to make a quick approval. Well, Typically what you're going to want to do is actually review it first. And to review it, right next to actions is the name of the agenda item. If you click the name of it, it'll take you to the agenda item details page. This is where we capture all that other information, like the fiscal information, the attachments, the item reports. Everything's going to be here for you to review. This is where you actually review everything. And one of the tabs we have is the approvals tab. So after you go through it, review it, make changes, whatever, you can actually go to the approvals tab. You don't have to go back to the home page if you don't want to. And if this is currently assigned to you, you'll get an additional button here called approval actions. If you click that, it's the exact same pop-up that's on the my home page. So you actually approve it directly while you're working when this, within this particular agenda item. So those are two areas you can actually approve something and be able to review it within the system for an agenda item that you need to review. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot.